Oklahoma Insurance Commissioner says he won't enforce the federal health law known as the Affordable Care Act. Two News reporter Rich Brandon Richard shows us how the feds are now fighting back. Since its passage, the Affordable Care Act has received lots of cold shoulders in Oklahoma. Governor Mary Fallon called it bad medicine and refused an offer to expand Medicaid under it. Now, state insurance commissioner, Republican John Doak, is doing some refusing of his own. The federal government uh, is asking the state of Oklahoma to enforce uh, federal laws over and above our state laws. And the Oklahoma Insurance Department does not have the authority and will not enforce federal law uh, in the state of Oklahoma. Two News obtained a letter Commissioner Doak sent to the Obama administration explaining his decision. In the letter, Doak also says he's giving back a million dollar grant the administration sent Oklahoma to help enforce the law. We also obtained a response letter from the Obama administration telling Mr. Doak that if Oklahoma doesn't want to enforce the health law, the federal government will instead. Which means two insurance regulators in Oklahoma, the feds and the state. Government, Doak uh, says it'll cause more problems like more paperwork for residents. But state Senate Democratic leader Sean Burridge says Doak should blame himself. He's once again inviting the federal government to come into Oklahoma and get into the lives of Oklahoma. As far as state law not allowing Doak to enforce federal law, Burridge doesn't buy it. You know, we're not talking about if you don't like the, the, the Civil Care Act or if you don't like Obamacare. We're talking about what the law of the land is, the law of the United States. The federal government did leave a door open, saying Oklahoma can still enforce the law on its own in the future if it chooses. Yes. Brandon Richard, 2 News works for you. Now here's something else. Because Oklahoma refused to create its own health care exchange as part of the law, the federal government is in the process of now setting up one for the state of Oklahoma. Next on 2 News.